And welcome back, this is Baller Scuba with another StarCraft 2 commentary. I am the Red Terran in the Southeast, up against Fireflash, the Blue Protoss in the Northwest. Uh, the map is Jungle Basin, and he doesn't wish me good luck or have fun? Oh, he's busy. Looks like he's working on it. Working on something. Uh, maybe. Oh, nothing. Ugh. So he does not wish me good luck or to have fun. I am very disappointed. Uh, Protoss players, um, I know there are more of you out there. There we go. Look at that. He does wish me good luck and have fun, I guess. Uh, keep track of your... Chrono Boost. I know there are more Protoss players than there are any other players, at least that's what Blizzard tells me. Uh, just a slight advantage over um, Terran. And then of course, uh, Zerg players are kind of down there. I believe only 20% of players play uh, Zerg as opposed to about 35% Protoss. So, Protoss players, since there seem to be a lot of you, uh, Chrono Boost. Look, he finally got it back up. As the gateway comes up, I'm sending an SV out to scout. He is content with pretty much staying in here, chrono boosting as necessary. I am getting a barracks and a refinery. So pretty much the standard build from me. You guys should recognize it by now. I have explained it a couple times. Oh, and look at that. I'm microing my SCV, so I stopped producing SCVs for a second there. Uh, don't see that uh, go up, I don't believe, but it's just a pylon anyways. Gateway almost done. Assimilator up, so he is getting gas. So are we going to be seeing a cybernetics core? There it is. It's a little late on that. Um... And if you wanted to get that out sooner for stalkers or warp gates, that should have gone out a little bit faster. He is getting a second guess, though, right now, so we should be seeing mass stalkers would be my guess. But, of course, I don't know that right now. I'm just assuming that uh, he's... Uh, I don't know what he's going for. Uh, looking at what I see... I see pretty much nothing out of the ordinary. I do know he's not going for a zealot push, and that's good enough for me. Second barracks going up. I do complete the block off here, uh, just in case he does go for the zealots. Uh, of course, these will prove useless against stalkers, which is pretty much what I assume he's going for right now, just based on what is in his base at this moment. And here, just a strange little pylon out in the wayside as a second bit uh, gateway comes in I am whoa look at me go what what am I doing um, well I'm building all the barracks hot keying them getting them set so I can get the uh, the Marines and Marauders out pretty standard for me so uh, uh here we go He's hiding a Stargate. Uh, that's a great job, actually. A uh, great place to hide your tech. Um, it's, of course, it's a lot easier for Terran to hide their tech. If I was going to do that, let's say I put a factory uh, here, and then Starport down here, he would not be able to see that. And, of course, I will not see this Stargate at the top. And nothing, still nothing out of the ordinary here. So, uh, how are you guys doing? Good? How's your family? Yeah. Yeah. How's school or, or work or whatever you guys do? Ah, uh, yeah, I know, it's a bummer. Yeah, I remember, I, I can, I can relate to that. Okay, I'm done. Uh, warp gate's being, uh, transitioned into. And a void ray, a fast void ray. But he's not sending it out immediately. He's actually going to be uh, sending in with the zealot. So we are going to be seeing zealots. 
uh, instead of stalkers, which is kind of strange. Uh, still only two warp gates up. Usually they go for the four gate. Uh, that's the standard build. So this is definitely new. We are going to be seeing a void ray coming out, doing some harassment, maybe. Uh, it's hard to say. Uh, Chrono boosting the second uh, void ray to come out. Still no hotkeys for him. Uh, I do have hotkeys going, but you know, uh, I still have my scout hotkey to one because I haven't, uh, I, I'm not considering moving these guys out right now because Protoss, of course, can do uh, a lot with a few units. If this was a Zerg player, I'd probably move out about now with those units, but not against Protoss. Out comes just the probe, just the probe. I don't care about you. And he's finally going to get some scouting done? It, it's way too late. He knows that he's going to... Oh, let's see what you're up to here. Here comes the proxy pylon. In a great location. He is definitely not new to this map. Look at that. With those warp gates, he's going to be able to warp units here and here. And when he warps them here, he's going to be able to do harassment from the other side and right as my expansion comes up oh my gosh could this be a worse time for me i am starting to move out and i see that stalker so everybody back oh wow look th uh, this is the first time i see the void race simming up luckily the marines are in the back but they're not focus firing down the void rays like they should be it is far too late and they are going to be able to wipe me out with this he is focusing down the marines, leaving me just the two marauders as he's got two void rays. One of them's nearly dead. I do have four marines trying to focus him down. In comes the zealots trying to focus down, but oh, the zealots are keeping me out of range of the void ray. So he did some great macro there with the zealots. Of course, I do have the marauders slow on those and those three marines should be enough to take it out when they are stemmed and oh more units coming in including three stalkers into my base he hasn't sent them out yet though he is falling behind oh no look at that he still has great APM compared to me and there he sends the stalkers in to try to take out my expansion not too concerned about it, to be honest with you, because three stalkers is not that much. And I'm trying to figure out, okay, is it on this side or on this side? So when I move out and I do see that there, I know that's where it is. So I'm not too concerned about reinforcements coming in. Even though stalkers are being warped in, but they are being warped in inside his base they're not being warped out here so i set that scp scv to repair he did not focus fire until that last shot there so i'm just going over here to make sure there's no units left there aren't any and he is almost completely out he has no army left i could easily move in now but i'm not going to N no sentries coming out I always love the sentries. They can make for a Protoss player. If you cannot control your sentries, don't get them. But you should get them. You know what I mean? They they can change a battle with those force fields, with the guardian shields. Hallucination not so much, and I don't know why it requires research. I do know that you can do some early scouting with it. If you hallucinate a phoenix, you can run it across people's bases, see what they've got going on. Speaking of which, I have an engineering bay finally on the way. Oh my gosh, look at that, 12 minutes. I'm just now getting my engineering bay. It is f way later than I usually get it. And the factory is up, second one on the way. Look at the units lost. He has lost a lot more than I thought. Those void rays are expensive, and they're mostly... I don't know, I wouldn't put them in a regular army just like that i don't know I, th they do have quite a range it's a six range as opposed to marines with five range so they can outrange the marines and the units can keep them from doing that he destroyed an animal 
That's not very nice. So here comes the probe to build another proxy pylon. He wants those reinforcements quickly. And look at that. That is, well, it's, it, it was effective. It wasn't um, efficient, but it did the job. It definitely split my army in half. Unfortunately, um, even that small army wasn't enough to take out uh, my army divide in half. And I take out that probe. I hate that probe. And I take a huge lead in the units lost. Looking at the spending, he still he spent more than me, but not more um, more in the army but not so much more that I should still be behind after all those units that he lost. And that's why I still have a huge lead in the army count. All he's got left are these three sentries that should buy him some time. Moving up and, oh, just one marine making it to the other side. Oh, marine versus sentry, marine will die every time. Doesn't matter if he's stimmed or not. So I'm just kind of waiting for those to go down. And, oh, two more force fields come up. Now, all this is doing is buying him time. But, unfortunately, those warp gates, their, uh, their cooldown cool down has not finished yet. He's getting more gateways coming out. Just two sentries and a stalker. And here, I finally send them in. It was way too late. Um, they should have gone up before, but that is still well enough to finish the job. And he gives me a good game, well played. So that was definitely an interesting game with that hidden Stargate. Um, luckily, uh, Marines can attack air. If it wasn't for that, I definitely would have lost this game if I was, let's say, a Zerg player. That, I, honestly, that, that strategy would absolutely destroy Zerg players as far as I can tell. Uh, they would need a massive amount of Queens in a hurry. And it's just, that was that was very good. Uh, but unfortunately, uh, my upgrades and uh, my Marines were too much for him. That stim pack really destroyed him at the end. I always get that stim pack first simply for this reason, that it can change the game. As those sentries tried to do, but unfortunately it was too late in the game for that. So I hope you guys enjoyed the game. Hope you laughed. Hope you learned. Hope to see you next time. Bye.